Hi guys, um, in this video, I'm going to show you to actually add uh, Windows Server a login banner using the uh, group policy management, okay? The GPOs, group policy objects, okay? So, uh, just a little bit of uh, introduction. Uh, the, what we're going to try to do will enable us actually to provide the warnings to users who access systems, systems for illegal purpose or in an authorized manner. For example, whenever once someone tries to log into any computer early in the morning, they get a message that maybe this computer is, is used for company X and X. Please don't click on such maybe phishing links, okay? Just a kind of warning or to give guidance on maybe best practice of the organizational policies, okay? Right, so how do we do that? It's pretty much simple. So I'll go back to our Windows server, actually. This totally we could do with group policy management and how do you access the group policy management just click on the tools go to group policy management and uh, we have our forest here then you go to under domains yeah so we want to do gpo for our gtest gtech.test okay just right click and create gpo for this domain so i just i'm just going to say this is a logon uh, banner banner uh, GPO okay all right so there's also naming convention so you have to be very very careful this one you can leave the way it is right so here is our banner GPO okay so how do we do what's the next step is to right click on the banner GPO and say head it all right so after head it go to policies right policies then window settings then actually we are going to security settings. It's a kind of a long process. So you have to be very, very careful. Just a minute. Then I expand this. I also expand this. Yes. All right. So we go to security settings, then local policies. Click on the local policies and security options. So this way actually you're going to find the correct policy to push to all the clients or all the computers in our domain so that that banner message can be displayed in each and every computer. So just search for any inter any any actually policy with the name interactive messages and something. Let me see. Inter yeah. So here, interactive. Uh, yeah, interactive. You see, interactive message text for users attempting to log on. There's another one, interactive title. So we are going to set title and a message. So for example, the title will be GTEC IT policies. And the message will be uh, this, co this computer belongs to GTEC. Please I use it appropriately according to the company's policy. So the first thing we are going to do, interactive logon for message title for users attempting to to log on all right so just click it and just actually uh, um just give you a heading there the title actually Okay, so my actually the title of our uh, uh, the uh, the title of that of that actually <laughs> banner will be GTEC IT policies twenty twenty four and just apply, okay, and okay. Then interactive message text. So after the user will know that this actually whatever is written there is for GTEC IT policies, then they'll go ahead to check what the policy entails. So. Um, what can, what should I say? Um, okay, so in this message, actually, I'm trying to alert the users that this computer belongs to this company and no unauthorized user is permitted. Okay, so the policy goes ahead to say, report any unusual behavior to this email here okay right so this will actually will tell the user that 
Whenever they suspect anything, they contact this one. It gives actually a warning first, no unauthorized user is permitted. Then another one, in case you have any suspected behavior, support it to this one for guidance, right? Okay, so just apply and okay. All right. So that's all about actually um, setting GPO for that particular, um, for that particular actually um, scenario. Okay, so the first, the second thing that is remaining is just to test whether the GPO is effective. So let's go back to our computer here, our client computer. We want to test it from our client computer. The first thing, just log in. Okay, so after login, remember we, what we've done is group policy. So group policy, you have to update them manually or manually by running a command or you restart the client machine. Okay. The best option is always to restart the client machine whether when it's on the on the on the same network as the server, okay? But you can also do this. CMD and say uh, GPU update uh, force. Yes, yeah, so you see it's updating policy. When it fails, just restart the machine, okay? All right. So let's just wait. Okay, this policy has been updated successfully so when do you see this message this text message this text message you see it when we're trying to log into our computer so let's try to lock or we will actually restart if the lock option do not give us that particular uh, message let's try to lock right then okay so let's just restart okay so we have restarted our machine here so where are we where are we going to see the message so just click just try to log in and here it is now so whatever we were we were setting on the other side here it is the title was gtech at t police 2024 then the message this computer belongs to this company no unauthorized use is permitted report any unusual behavior to it support.gtech.com perfect perfect and you can go ahead and log in to your computer after reading the message very very important in any windows server environment thank you so much and i believe you have understood on how to uh, create a logon banner uh, using group policy management editor thank you and let's see you again in the next video bye